everybody hello 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 and welcome this is part three now of our let's make something no it's not called that how to <laughs> get it right how to use the Sizzix uh, Tim Holtz chapter three release which this is pretty much it there were some stamps as well um, which I didn't buy uh, but these are the these are the main kits. This one, which is called Specimen. This one, which is Postal. That one I do know. And this one, I think, is Collector. Yes. So we've got Collector, Postal, and what did I say that one was called? Specimen. And then I also bought the um, alphabet that he brought out at the same time, which is called Alphanumeric Theory. And I'm, I'm really pleased I bought that, actually. I like it a lot. I like using it and we'll be using it very soon but today really is all about the specimen one just stay where I put you stay there or not um, we've worked our way through we've used the other two and today's the day uh, for this one and it's got as you can see um, I would call this a file folder I don't know what you call it anywhere else in the world it's got a um, tab which I've lost I've lost it I'm so sad it's got one of those sort of transparency slide holders it's got the numbers which every set has book plate and little uh, bits to pop in behind the book plate a series of six numbers a series of six words three cards that's it oh two little bits there and that's that's it 54 dies in total I mean it's a big set not surprising they're quite expensive but I think I've thought of a way of getting around the cost for you if you really want to do this project I will put together a set of the the die cuts if, if you know what I mean so you can just take those and make one for yourself so I can't do it yet because I don't know which dies I'm going to be using in the, the remaining pages but we'll see and I'll put together a set and put it in my shop so that's what we're going to be with working on today and I've gone ahead and I've well let's look through it shall we this is the coin envelope which makes that page there this was the little envelope, which was the one we were working on yesterday, which I really like. I really like that page. It's lovely. And this is what we're going to be doing today. We've got two file folders in here. There's the one at the back. Here's this one here. And I'm going to pretty much copy that. I was just running through it so I could make sure I had everything ready. <laughs> because I promised you yesterday I wasn't going to be as disorganized as I had been so <laughs> so here goes I'm going to try and emulate that today but it's it's really rather nice I think so let's get cracking what I need is one of these specimen labels and this is from uh, an Etsy shop called Saturday Stamper I think both of those are actually and I'm just going to ink around those to get us going. This is always a problem when you tidy up. You can't remember where you put anything. But look at all the space I've got. I've got loads of space. I don't know myself. Won't last. Never does. But, you know. So let's ink around here. So I'm going to be using the transparency um, frame, whatever you want to call it. Transparency holder, slide folder. I don't know what it's called. So this needs a stamp there, stamp in the middle. So I'm going to use my Versafine. And I'm going to use something off the field note set. The one that says specimen. And I now have my choice of... Let me move these dies because they keep sliding and they're annoying me. 
uh, yeah look I've got my choice of uh, stamping platforms all clean lovely my goodness me what's going on what on earth I told you you wouldn't recognize me I'm still going to go for the same one that I always use because I quite like it I like that handle on it doesn't matter if it's central or not it's just a field note that's better thanks Mr. F. and it doesn't matter if it stamps perfectly or not either so that takes the pressure off somewhat yep yeah, there we are that's lovely and on this one it doesn't matter so much there's nothing really you can't really see that so I'll leave that as is if when we put it together it looks like it needs something, that's fine. I'll add something then. <coughs> okay, cookie. So let's make our little slides up. I'll do the cream one first. Here we are. I think this is all the pieces I need. Right, so it's got... I don't know why I'm using a pencil. It's a bit silly. In, in each of the four corners it's got this hole and um, I used brads in one of mine and I'll show you how I got round it for the other one but basically it just folds in half let's just make sure that we are actually on the half just take time to get it exactly right there we go. So I need to ink around that. I could have had all of these inked and it would have saved ages, I know that. But it's part of the process, I think. I never mind it when people are inking on videos because it's what you do part and parcel of junk journaling so yeah I think it's quite a good idea to offer sets of the die cuts you know if you want to do this and you don't own the chapter 3 and let's be honest that chapter 3 is expensive you know th those four die sets that I showed you they're getting on for £100 I'd say which is a lot for dies at the end of the day just going to go up that side just in case you can see any of it when it's folded over there we go right so this is where you would put your specimen or whatever it is that you want to put in feel free to do that I'm just going to use my stamp look at this I thought I had everything out that I needed and I've lost my stamp already. Where are you? Must be in here. Um, oh well, I'll use this one. It's not the one I had in mind, doesn't matter. And I'm just going to use the Distress Oxide. I don't want it to be too dark, really. Which way's up? <laughs> That's a good question, isn't it? Which way is up? So I'm just going to stamp in the background there. There we are, just a bit more at the top there, that's fine. So that's that, it's just got something on it now, it's not uh, empty. And that pretty much now can get stuck down. I might actually, before I do that, I'll put the, put the name on the bottom and it just fits there you'd think it had been cut to go there <laughs> yeah I suspect it was so let's just give this a little bit of ink around it doesn't show up particularly well this um, gathered twigs on here but there is something on it so that's okay and um, behind there I want this now I just have to check that this is the right size e, I 
was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, absolutely just. So I need to ink around there and then stamp something on it. Well, hey, it's alive. Which way is the bevel? That way. Okay, there we go. Now find a stamp that's going to fit on there. I'm trying to stick with the field notes ones today because it's got that kind of vibe to it, hasn't it? Oh, I might just put filed on there. Will that fit? That'll fit. I quite like that idea. Stay on. So, shall I use my teeny weeny little block? I have to use it crossways on. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Teeny weeny. <coughs> There we go. So let's just get that onto there. Sorry if you can see my head. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Perfect. Lovely. So that's that done. So, yes, I want to stick this Oh, it is better if it's open. Onto there, like that. Does that fit inside, or do I need to put that on first? Yeah, it fits inside, I think. That's what I thought. So you don't need masses of glue. To be honest. That's fine. Kind of get it in the middle. In the middle if you can. There you go. There's lots of things you could do with this. You could put acetate in behind there if you wanted to. Um, I don't think it's necessary. If you were putting something in there, like a specimen, you know, like a butterfly or a moth or whatever, then yeah, I think it might be quite nice to put acetate Oh, that's weird. That doesn't fit. Well, it kind of does. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is put a brad at each end of that book plate the, in there. So let's get the yoga mat out. I've got a pack of teeny tiny little... Um, Bra uh, brads, are they called brads? Yeah, I think they're called brads. And I'll just get a couple of those out. I think they're all the same colour. And I'm pretty sure these are not Tim Holtz ones. I'm pretty sure they came... I don't know. I haven't got a clue where from. Could be Amazon. So I'm just going to make a hole through each end there then I'm going to come back and just make it a little bit bigger so we can get the legs of the brad through there we are put that through there let's do them one at a time I seem to have trouble if I try and get fancy with myself so hold that down so this is going to be tight let's turn it away from there turn the legs away from the opening Lovely, that's great. And the one on the other side. Press it down firmly onto it. Aha, uh -huh, well done. Just keep turning it around till it's not going to be sticking out anywhere. Lovely. So that's that. Got our background done. I think all we need to do now is glue that closed. It's another cold, cold day on the ranch today. Uh, it's not quite as cold as yesterday, I don't think. It might be marginally half a degree warmer or something. Um, but Mr. F's got a really good fire on, 
so we aren't taking any hurt at all. It's nice and cosy in here. Let's just check that that's square, I think it is. Pretty much, yeah. And now, oh, come back. Now I'm going to put four brads in the corners. Let's put the glue. So poke right through. And then just enlarge those slightly. And let's get our four, <coughs> four brads in the corners. I wish I knew where I got these from actually because they're tiny and they're, they're quite handy sometimes you know for projects like this but I'm afraid I, I just can't remember right so let's get these in here fold it right over open the legs out I just I want to have it so as one leg is facing the center and the other one's coming off the edge. Let's press it down. Do that with all four. I'll carry on doing that actually because I'm quite sure you don't need to see me do it. Okay, so I've done that, and as you can see, these are sticking out beyond the little um, thing. So I've got my snips out, as you do. And I'm just going to snip those ends off. And this, I mean, these are so little that they snip off really easily, says she, unable to snip one off. And these are going to be glued anyway, so we should be fine. There we go, there's that. So I'm just going to drop those in the bin before they get in Catkin's feet or anything. Finished with that for just now. Right, so the next thing that we want to do is kind of decorate this a little bit. Um, and I want to use this. This was from the Elizabeth Craft set that I got, but any tag, pull, anything like that will work perfectly. This just came with the set. The set of Elizabeth Craft stuff. Um, not the chapter three. But if you've still got the tag, if you haven't lost your tag like I stupidly have, that will go there perfectly. So stick that in place. like that. I don't know why I put glue on there. So yeah, that's that there. Right, so now we need to decorate this with something. Um, and what I'm proposing is one of these birds. I'm pretty sure they're a Timmy set. I've taken mine apart and put them in a polythene bag. I don't know why I did that, um, but yeah. But anything, a butterfly, a mushroom, anything like that will do. It doesn't have to be this bird. But I'm just going to colour mine. I've got a bit of old black card somewhere. This is it. Perfect for the job. And I'm just going to take my gathered twigs and a brown um, blending brush and I'm going to do his head and down his back and his tail and his feet let's not forget his feet there we are Okay, and now I'm going to go on to Lumberjack Pink and 
take another brush and give him a bit of a red breast. I don't want it mighty red, but a little bit red. Just like that. So there we are. He's a little robin red breast. So we can stick him onto our file. It's like he is a specimen, but he's hopped outside the cage and I, I, I like that idea. So there's just, if I put him there, right up to that corner, just the tip of his tail and that bit there that doesn't get glued. Okay, so let's glue him in. So the tip of his tail sticks off, so I won't put glue on there. Right, let's try that for size then. I want that there. I want him coming over there. I think that's about right. Let's get the Timmy towel out. There we go. No glue down there, a little bit. Take that off. Okay, so all I want now is a tiny little something in red to complement this. So let's just go out through my Timmy small stuff and see if I've got anything suitable. Uh, nothing there particularly. <sighs> nothing there particularly. Oh, there's one there. That'll do. These are just photograph albums. Um, it's just an easy way to see everything that you've got. I, I find it quite useful. I've got everything in there. I've got butterflies in the back. Um, that's my rub-offs, rub-ons, should I say. Um, and then I've got all my uh, stickers, pages of them. And then back to labelly sort of stuff. I just find it's an easy way to keep them really and allow you to see what you've got. So I'm just going to ink quickly around here. It's tiny, but. And I'm going to stick that about there. And then I've got this pin as well that came with the Elizabeth Craft set, which if you are buying a complete set of dies, you will get these in with it. So I'm going to put it there like that. So it looks like I've pinned something to the file. Some important bit of something that you want somebody else to notice. It says enclosure actually. Oops. Stay on there. There's a good lad. This just needs a little bit of ink. Stick that on. I need some tweezers. This is getting a bit silly now. Pop that on there. Right to the edge, like that. Okay. There we go. So that's that finished. The only other thing I need for that page. Let's have a look. So that's going to go like that. That's going to go like that. Yeah, I think we're doing all right. Let's just see what it looks like. So that's going to go there. And that's going to go there. Yeah. Great, let's get on with it, get it stuck. It is easier, I must say it is easier when I've got things cut out where I know where they are, where I can see my stamps, ink pads, etc. Yesterday was just, it was getting too much for me to be honest. I couldn't, can't work when it's like that. So you want that fairly straight, either fairly straight or completely on the wonk. 
I don't think I need to stamp anything on it, but let's just put this in place and see. That's going to go there like that. Yeah, maybe I could do with something there, you know. After all. So. with the bird on yeah I might put that there because here's a bird after all perfect that's perfect Pleased with that. And then we've got our dicky bird to stick on there. So I'm going to try and get that as far over this way as I can so I can still see that bird there. Excellent. So let's glue everything. Give the brads a good bit of glue because you don't want them twisting around. The bird. I say just give the brads a good bit of glue and you'll be fine <clears throat> okay so I want that right over that side right over there not right up to the spine because I've got a brad in there it'll stop it closing there we go there's our lovely little file folder or whatever you call it transparency Slide, slide. I think people call it a slide. We'll go with slide. So there we are. I'm just going to um, put down what I can reach. Woody, <gasps> slippery little sucker. I might need a long one for that one. That one's floating free, but it is, feels fairly stuck. Let's put that there. Right, so just temporarily we've got those uh, there in place. Right, and, and it looks nice. I think it looks nice. So there's the centre of this. What are we going to do with the centre? Well, <coughs> this is what I'm going to do with the centre. I have a sheet of A4 here that measures... Um, 11 and 3 quarters by 8 and a quarter. Now, if you're in America, your paper will measure slightly differently, but that doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it over kind of to the, you know, middle-ish. doesn't have to be exact. And I'm going to fold this one over so it is the same width coming in a bit from the sides as that so just that's going to be fine I think so I'm just going to fold this over so it just overlaps the other piece like that there we go just going to crease those lines in Lovely. and I'm just going to glue that down so just a thin bead of glue along there will do the job stick that down this is just thin copy paper if you've got posh paper or you want to use pattern paper or whatever please do so I just thought cream actually looked quite nice so that's that. So I'm now going to fold it in half. Trying to take care to get it in half. Like that. Let's 
get this bone folder and make sure we're square there. Okay, crease that in. Right, so now I'm going to take it to here and there's a longer side and a shorter side to this file. So this is the longer side, this one here. So I want to measure to the shorter as I don't want this sticking out. I wouldn't say that was exactly straight either. Dear, oh dear. Let's try that. Right, so in put your folded edge in at the center and then bring it up and make a mark on the edge of your paper where you want it to come to so about a quarter of an inch down from the top about there then i'm just going to chop that off so you see you didn't really need a full sheet of paper that's been frivolous totally frivolous but it's um it's just copy paper. Happens to be cream. My co copy paper is cream. I just prefer it. And then what we're going to do is that now measures four inches. So I'm going to put a line of glue up there at two inches, more or less. I'm going to put a well, bit of a line, half a line up there at two inches and leave it at that for the moment pop this in the center like that fold it up and then press it right down so you know it's really in the center press your glue in place that didn't stick Press that down there and then line up the centre again and press this into place like that. So press, press, press. <coughs> and then we have a little accordion pocket which you can pop things in, like stickers and stuff. So, that's not, when it dries, it'll open slightly further. It's just I don't want to spoil the glue on it. But that's an, a nice centre for that. Which brings us on to the back page. Right. We're motoring through it today, aren't we? So, the back page. Right, let's have a look and see. I need a... Mm, if I'm going through this way, do I need the word there? Yeah, very possibly. I'm going to put a word on there. And the word that I have chosen is, uh, yeah, it's up here. That's where it is. It's collect. So I'm just going to take all those little bits out. There we are. And if you really want to, you can save all these um, teeny tiny bits. Right, so I want to cut this straight. Ha! Huh. Yeah, that'll be the day. I'm concentrating. I wish I could cut straight. It'd be much easier. I don't think that's too bad it's kind of all right and I'm gonna because if I just stick that down you won't see it there'll be nothing coming out of it so I've got a little piece of black card here and I'm just going to stick that over the top and then cut it cut around it um, I don't need to ink it yet I can ink it when it's stuck Try and get the bottom on the bottom, it'll save me one 
one side to cut. There we go. And here is the centre of the O, but I don't know if I can get it out or not. It's so tiny. I can't even manipulate it. There we go. Right, let's hold on to that, the centrepiece. Try and get rid of the outside. Oh, this is so tiny, it's just daft. It's daftness. Oh, that's like so much glue for something so tiny. Let's see if I can pick it up. No, let's see if I can pick it up with my tweezers. There you go. Oh my goodness me. That looks so much better to me with that centre in the O. <laughs> Excellent. So that's that. Um, let's cut round that so it's all nice and square. Well, as square as it's going to be. Don't even think that bottom edge was square. Right, there we go. So I am going to stick that uh, here on this side here. Just like that. It needs to be inked. Okay. So yeah, I've got to go out later. I've got a doctor's appointment. Um, so I wanted to get this done this morning. So then once I come back from the doctors, I can just slob out. <laughs> so there we are. We've got that there. So when you look at it from the front, you can see it. Looks nice. Right, so now onto the back. Um, let's see what I did with that. Could be anything. So I've got my specimen label and I just want to put a number across here. So let's find a number. Um, that one. I'll put that one on. That's the one I shall put on. I'm going to do that in red and I'm not I'm not going searching for anything today so I'm just going to use this lumberjack plaid Is that the right way up yet and I'm going to put it on a bit of a bit of a jaunty angle like that that's fine uh, and I'm happy with that so put that away um, now then Let's build up our slide. So, I've got all my bits here. I know it's not even like me, is it? It's just not like me. Um, and that's a card that comes with it that is slightly larger than the aperture, so you can put it in behind. Uh, let's ink around here. Oh, I need to use my uh, vintage sepia. That doesn't doesn't work. That's a bit of excessive inking, but it doesn't matter. The the craft will absorb a lot of it. But I'm okay with it anyway. Right, now around the outside. I'm just going down here. You won't see it because it's going to be glued down, but I'm on a roll. <laughs> I'm on a roll, so I'm not stopping. There. Now we need to fold this in half, which I think is about there. Yep. And ink that as well. Right. Lovely. So that's that inked. Now then, let's just uh, crease that in. Exactly in the right position. There we go. Right. 
So here's my card that's going to go behind it. And I thought I'd use some of that washi tape again, the same washi tape as I used before. I really liked it. I thought it suited the project really quite, quite well. It's very sticky stuff. So I'm just going to put that there and attempt to get this straight. Because the last time, if you recall, it wasn't quite straight. Oh, it's so sticky. That's a good thing. So which, where's the concave? That's it. Let's, let's attempt to get this straight, shall we? I think that's about it there. And this should give us a nice background, I'm hoping. So let's just... Looks nice. around it I mean, it's going in behind here so it doesn't you're never going to see how well or oh, otherwise this is trimmed but that's nice isn't it that's very nice right so let's stick that down and stick it in place so I'm just going to go around the outside of here with a very little thin bead of glue because there isn't much overlap there we go let's get this in place which is not there <laughs> about there I think does that look about right? doesn't look very straight how about that? Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Right. Let's give that a good press down. Lovely. That's that in place. Um, and then we can actually glue that all up. Because what goes on there is a number. And it just sticks on the top. So, yeah. Let's glue this down in place. And I haven't put my brads in and all that. Because I've got another way. Because I think it's always nice to give you a choice because not everybody has everything, do they? If you'd be interested in a, a kit to make these up, please let me know in the comments. I'm just curious to know if anybody does actually want them um, or not right so I'm doing the same thing here but this time I'm doing it in cream remember last time we did it in um, craft this time it's going on in cream just stop there like so lovely and then I need to stick my number on so I need to poke out all these numbers And the end as well, that's it. There we go, right, that's fine. So that's going to go there and just need this little piece of cream card behind it. So I'm going to cut this off fairly close to the numbers. That's the plan. breathe I think that's it does that fit on there yeah great right so let's ink around everything it 
think around this. I've, I've just got the distress on, but it's doing it, it's inking it, so that's fine. Right, so let's get some glue on the back of this. I'm not going to be daft enough this time to try and fit the middle parts in. That way lies madness. Utter madness. Right, so... Okay there, yeah, that's okay. They just need to trim a little bit off this end and we're okay. Yeah, that's fine. Whoops. Just trim that excess bit off there. Re-ink that, otherwise it'll stand out like a sore thumb. Stick that in place. Which is about over a bit, budge over, yeah, about there. About there, I think, get the Timmy towel at it. Lovely, that's lovely. Right, what do I need now? Let's keep tidy as I go, I like that idea. So now what I need is doo -doo -doo, a butterfly. I've got all these tiny little letters that I'm loath to throw out. I'm sure they have a use. So yeah, I want a little bit of card. That's a bit grubby, but I think it'll be all right. And a butterfly. These are darkroom door stamps. I adore darkroom door stamps. They're really lovely. Um, that's the one I used last time. I could use that one. Or I could use that one. I could use any of them, actually. I, I really like that one that I used the last time. Let's use it again. Let's just use it again. So... Let's get a stamp block and I'm going to stamp it in grey. It's a kind of habit with me actually to stamp things in grey. You don't have to with this one. That doesn't want to stick down. Oh, here goes the end of my beautiful clean stamp platform. I think probably the stamp needs washing is, is what the problem is. I'm going to fussy cut this so I don't need to allow any margin or anything around it. There we are, perfect in every way. Put the grey away. Look at this, put the butterfly away. What on earth? Who is this person? Yeah, darkroom door stamps come in this fabulous folder, which is brilliant. Right, so what I'm going to do now is colour that in. And I'm going to use my Lumberjack plaid ink. So just put a bit down. And get my water brush out. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that. Just to let it move a bit. Pick some up. And just paint my butterfly in. And you can paint over um, the ink. Because it's versifying clear. It's not reactive with water. If you use distress ink to, paint, to stamp your butterfly then be careful because the water will upset it and before you know it you'll have lost the outline of your butterfly so i just want to leave that to dry a little bit and come and give it another coat it's probably enough another coat like I say, we're going to fussy cut this so you don't have to be too cautious about staying within the lines or anything. 
it's just habit isn't it to want to keep it tidy This is the same colour as I use for my splashes on my page, so um, it should all tie in, hopefully. I'm just going to give it one more coat. Every time you go over it, you darken it, which is nice. So that's quite a nice colour now, nice and dark, that's okay. Let's just wipe that up. There we go, right. Now I just want to dry that, then I want to fussy cut him. He's pretty dry. Uh, I'm going to fussy cut him and pause it because there's no point you watching me fussy cut him, sure. Okay, so I've fussy cut him out. I've just given him a little lick of ink around. He's looking very nice. But what I want to do is emboss him, heat emboss him. So I'm just going to use my Distress Dabber, which is a brilliant tool. I love it. And go over it. Trying to catch everywhere. And then I'm going to use some Lumberjack Plaid embossing glaze. Now, Kiyong, I know, probably many more of you, were wondering what on earth embossing glaze is and why it's different to embossing powder, ordinary embossing powder that you buy. Well, Ordinary embossing powder that you buy, if it's white, when you put it on, everything is white. Gold, the same. It blocks off everything, uh, which, you know, very often is what we want. But sometimes you want something nice and to make it nice and shiny, but that you can still see through what's going on underneath. And that's where embossing glaze comes in, because... It covers everywhere, makes it nice and shiny, but you can still see all the details of everything underneath. So you'll see when I finish this that you can still see the details in his wings. There we go. I'll just leave that to cool down for a little second because it is melting plastic. So yeah, there you go. You can still see all the details in his wings. Looks perfect, except he's now got this very high gloss red coat on him. So I think it's probably, well, probably about there really for assembling this. So I want my specimen card kind of like that. I want this kind of like that. And then I want my butterfly about there. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's get sticking. Oh, now my glue doesn't want to work. I don't know why. What's wrong with you? doesn't want to work. Pretty sure I had a pin down here somewhere, but no, nowhere to be seen. Let's see if I can find a pin. Let's 
see if I can unblock this. It's such a fine tip. Yeah, it's got sort of a plug of glue. Hope that's it. Yeah, it's just a tiny little plug of glue. And that's all it takes because they, these tips are absolutely precision. There we go. So I want this about there. That's pretty good. That's where I'd like it to be. That's where it is. Hey ho, we're all happy. Uh, let's stick this down. I haven't forgotten that we haven't got the brads in. That's coming. Wait with bated breath. to be about there. Yeah, I'd say about there. Lovely. Just give that a bit of firm pressure to help it on its way. Lovely. And now the butterfly. Now I also need a little bit of um, one of these sticky doodars dimensional stuff. I only need one which is now sticking to me of course. And I just want it on the tip of that wing there and down here. I think that's right. I'm going to take that release tape off and glue the rest of it. There we go. And pop him about about there. That looks nice to me. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to have to clip that eventually. But for the time being, I just want to show you my workaround for, you know, if you haven't got any of the teeny tiny brads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, which is Liquid Pearls. It's a Ranger product and it's kind of like Stickles, but not like Stickles. Stickles has got sort of bits of glitter and stuff in it it's really pretty this is a more almost matte it's it's not matte but it pearls is a good description for it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just squeeze a little bit out first so i know i've got good flow yeah there we go and in each of the places where a brad would be i'm just going to put a little bit of liquid pearls in like that. And then obviously once I've got these put in, I can't mess with it anymore. Just have to leave it <coughs> to dry. But they do the job. They really look like they are little brads. So that's that. Can't mess with that anymore. It's done. Uh, there's our centerpiece which looks great, doesn't it? And we can pop things in there. I should have inked around the top, forgot. And that's the first page. Yikes, I can't show you without getting my liquid pearls. That page there with the birdie. So I'm going to leave that like that to dry and then tomorrow we can move on to another page. But like I say, if you, if you think you might be interested in having a set of these um, dies the die cut not the dies I've got the dies but I can cut them for you um, drop me a message below um, some of you will have them some of, some of you won't so I'm going to leave that like that now until it dries 
and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks very much for joining me. Bye.